Rob. Like so many people who live in the northern Illawarra, there's a creek that flows through my backyard. Those creeks, most of those creeks, come from aquifers. The Hawkesbury Sandstone aquifer system that the coal seam gas mining companies here want to drill through to get the gas. This campaign is about our future and our right to protect this area, to protect our drinking water, our food and our future. <laughs> coal seam gas mining threatens all of these things. So when it comes to our drinking water, first and foremost, there's the water that they have to draw out of the coal seam to access the gas. That water is highly saline and it can contain radioactive and toxic compounds and heavy metals. The industry itself has said that over the next 25 years, they will be drawing the equivalent of 13 Sydney harbours full of water out of the ground. That's 13 Sydney harbours full of contaminated water that they don't know yet how they are going to deal with. Then there's the fresh water, the enormous quantities of fresh water that they directly contaminate if they want to drill, if they want to frack. They pump that down in the ground and they can only recover as little as 20%, up to 80%, but as little as 20% of water they have directly contaminated. Yeah. Lastly, with this industry, there is the inevitable damage to aquifers. When you are drilling through groundwater systems, you damage them, you change their flow. Now here in the Illawarra, all of these coal seam gas approved wells are in and around the Nepean and Warrenora drinking water catchment. Yeah. It's completely insane that they've been approved here and it's so clear by the numbers of people who came out in May on Austin Mere Beach and again the number of people who came out here today that we don't want this. So Stop CSG Illawarra was set up with three objectives. 
These flow from the precautionary principle. We need to know things are safe before we let them go ahead. So the first thing we call for is an immediate moratorium on all coal seam gas mining. The next thing we call for is a Royal Commission, the highest level of inquiry into the full impacts of CSG, because the community needs to have that information before we make a decision about whether or not this can happen in our community. which we know is dangerous. I imagine many people are here today because they saw the documentary Gasland. I know that that was what motivated me to act. And I think that we all learned from that the dangers around hydraulic fracturing, the fact that we don't want drinking water that is so full of methane you can light it on fire. We don't want the impact on our communities that we're seeing right across the US. So we call for a ban on fracking and I think I want to update that and I know other people in the community are talking about this because now there's coal seam gas mining companies coming up with other names for fracking, other things that they call stimulation techniques. So we are here to reject fracking and other stimulation techniques from ruining our environment and from ruining our drinking water. Now currently we still have a state government who says that coal seam gas is a necessary transition fuel. I want to put that word in inverted commas because they're wrong. Because we are not transitioning from or to anything. Most of this gas is for export. It's just greater fossil fuel extraction to take overseas. The next reason is because this is as bad, if not worse, than coal in terms of the climate. We are not transitioning when we are going to a technology that's as bad, if not worse, than coal. There is no barrier, absolutely no barrier, and we're seeing this in countries all around the world, to switching to wind, to switching to concentrated solar thermal, and in Australia, they keep telling us the lie that it's not possible. When we have one of the greatest solar capacities in the world, and one of the greatest capacities for wind. If this government wants to transition, they're going down the wrong path. The other reason the government tells us that this is necessary is jobs. Now this is completely false. Research by the Australian Institute shows that every time we have a growth in the resource sector, we see more jobs lost in other sectors, particularly manufacturing and tourism, because we get an increase in the Australian dollar. So we see more jobs lost than we gain when we move to coal seam gas mining. So basically, we do get new jobs when we move to coal seam gas, but we get more jobs lost in other areas. And we need to say a firm no to this, particularly in an area where we are so dependent on manufacturing and steel, and we are so dependent on tourism. Already as a result of the community campaign, particularly in New South Wales and Queensland, we're seeing changes. So in New South Wales, we've already got a temporary moratorium on some on existing fracking projects. So it's not going to stop what's going on here, but that is an advance. We've seen a ban on the use of evaporation ponds. And last week, we actually saw our local council vote to put it to the state government that we need to see coal seam gas mining banned in drinking water catchments.
coal-seam gas mining, and that is what is going to mean we stop coal-seam gas mining all over New South Wales and here in the Illawarra.